probably a hypothesis that the in a couple of years the oceans will rise in level. Global warming. Next question. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in 10th grade, man. I'm not Al Gore. Get out of here. I have no idea. Food for us to eat? Maybe? I'm not sure. Ocean hypoxia is when the levels of dissolved oxygen, which marine organisms such as fish breathe in, deteriorate to a level around 1-30% to 30 where it becomes problematic to the organism living in the water. If marine organisms such as the Atlantic herring are suffering from hypoxic conditions, population numbers and health of these fish will rapidly decline as there will not be enough oxygen in the water for the local population to sustain life. Atlantic herring are one of the most abundant species of fish on Earth and congregate in large schools off the coast of Canada and New England. Ecologically, herring and other herring-like fish compose the most important trophic level on the planet in that they consume plankton and other invertebrates. They are essential prey food for larger fish in higher trophic levels and are diadromous in that they travel between salt and fresh water. I think there has been uh, a decrease. Uh, near Boston, on the South Shore, in the town of Weymouth, I am um, on the Conservation Commission and one of the herring wardens. And since we've been watching it, there has been a decline. In fact, um, River Herring, a couple of years ago, re received a, a, an increased level of protection that now prohibited uh, to fish River Herring at all because uh, the stocks are in such a decline. Because the Atlantic herring is an important prey for many species, a population decrease would be felt throughout the entire ecosystem. Its predators range from cod, tuna, striped bass, dolphins, seals, whales, and of course, man. In order to protect our ecosystem and the livelihood of fishermen who depend on herring schools, we must also protect the Atlantic herring. <laughs>